With AWS Lambda, you pay only for what you use. Lambda has a regional tiered pricing model for on-demand Lambda consumption. There are two main dimensions. You are charged based on the number of requests for your functions and the duration, the time it takes for your code to run. Lambda counts a request each time your function runs as an invoke. This is in response to an event notification or an invoke call from an SDK or the CLI and includes test invokes from the console. Duration is calculated from the time your code begins running until it returns or otherwise terminates, and this is rounded up to the nearest one millisecond. The duration price also depends on the amount of memory you allocate to your function. You can allocate any amount of memory to your function between 128 meg and 10 gig in one meg increments. In the Lambda resource model, you choose the amount of memory you want for your function and are allocated proportional CPU power and other resources. An increase in memory size configures an equivalent increase in CPU available to your function. It's worth remembering that you pay for the memory allocated to your function, not the amount of memory your function uses. If you allocate 10 gig to your function and it only uses 3 gig, you are charged for the 10 gig. It's therefore a good idea to test your functions using different memory allocations to work out which is the most beneficial for the function and your budget. Depending on the function, you might find that a higher memory level might actually cost less because the function can complete much more quickly than at a lower memory configuration. You can choose to run your Lambda functions on processors built on either x86 or ARM architectures. Lambda functions running on Graviton 2 using an ARM-based processor architecture designed by AWS delivers up to 34% better price performance compared to functions running on x86 processors. There are some additional optional pricing dimensions. You can configure additional ephemeral storage, which is the temp space for your function, up to 10 gig, which has an additional charge. Provision concurrency can help improve performance in some scenarios. You pay for the amount of concurrency you configure and for the period of time you configure it. When using HTTP response streaming, you are charged for each gigabit written to the response stream by your function above the first 6 meg. Data transfer with Lambda functions is free in the same AWS region between a number of services. Data transferred into and out of your functions from outside the region the function runs is charged at the Amazon EC2 data transfer rates. The AWS Lambda free tier includes 1 million free requests per month, 400,000 gigabit seconds of compute time per month, and 100 gig of HTTP response streaming data per month when you exceed the first 6 meg.